In 2014, Steve Kerr took over as the head coach of the Golden State Warriors, and he recognized an interesting stat regarding his team, one that has revolutionized basketball and created one of the NBA's greatest dynasties. That's the power of plus minus. Plus minus is looking for how an individual, lineup, or whole team impacts the final score based on their time on the hardwood. It highlights the point differential per minutes played. So for example, if we outscore the opponent by two points on our last game, the whole team would have a plus minus rating of plus two. So let's say in our last game, our team won by two points and I played 16 minutes of that game, eight in the first half, eight in the second half. During my first eight minutes, we outscored the opponent 14 to 12. So for that first eight minutes in the first half, I had a plus minus rating of plus two. However, in the eight minutes in the second half, the opponent went on some runs, they outscored us 16 to eight. So for the second half, in my eight minutes, I had a plus minus rating of minus eight. So for the whole game, I played 16 minutes, eight minutes in the first half with a plus two rating, eight minutes in the second half with a minus eight rating. For the whole game, I have a composite score of a minus six plus minus. Now remember, our team had a plus minus rating of plus two, but I had a minus six rating. This is super important. I can have a negative plus minus rating and our team can still win the game. Each player will have their own plus minus rating for the game based on the scoring runs that happen while they're on the floor. The goal is to always have a positive plus minus rating. I don't have to score every point or grab every rebound to help our team outscore the opponent. And by the way, that's the whole goal of basketball. Score as many points as possible while preventing the other team from scoring any points at all. What took us so long to measure this in the first place? Anyway, let's jump back to Kerr and the Warriors. Kerr applied what he saw in the plus minus column to how he deployed his lineups throughout the game, searching for the combination of players that had the highest plus minus differential. What he found was counterintuitive to common sense coaching. If you wanted to write your name in basketball's history books, you had to be tall. Shaq, Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, the blue monster from Space Jam. Not this lineup. Steph Curry, Andre Gudala, Clay Thompson, Harrison Barnes, and Draymond Green together were plus 166 in 172 minutes of action together. Meaning this lineup outscored opponents by one point every minute. That is otherworldly. The most impressive part, none of those guys are over six feet, eight inches tall. This lineup prioritized shooting, defensive switchability, and skill over height. As a result, coaches all over the world and at every level are implementing a new style of basketball called small ball or positionless basketball. But it all started with plus minus. Have you found your lineup of death yet? If not, check out the Huddle blog to see how you can apply this revolutionary stat with your team this season.